everybody and welcome back to the motorone.com channel where today we're taking our first look at the 2021 Lexus IS and I'm joined by motorone.com senior editor Jeff Perez. Hey Clint. Jeff we're doing it again. We are. So many cars starting to debut so. now and uh, I know. one that we're both particularly excited about today and that is the new Lexus IS. It's not a facelift it is a new car um, but we're gonna kind of have that. Yeah, we have this back and forth now of how much of it is really new and how much of it is just updated. Uh, so let's get to the good stuff right away. We have a new design, uh, slightly better performance, says Lexus, although we'll talk about powertrain figures in just a bit. Uh, we have Lexus's new safety suite, which has a very sexy name, Lexus Safety System Plus 2.5. Gotta love that. Uh, and a new 10.3 inch touchscreen, which is definitely the biggest addition to the new interior. But let's start with the exterior. Give me your first thoughts. I like it. Uh, obviously it looks really similar to the previous model, right? Like at first glance, you, you look at this and you say, what's different? Um, but when you start looking at like the grill and the headlights and some of the other details, it's, it's not a big, change but it's a noticeable enough change to where it feels more modern and in line with the rest of the cars in the lexus lineup i think it's better i think it's it's cleaned up tightened up the um the headlights specifically that that split where you have the leds underneath they're now in the headlight there's a nice singular fixture um the grill's a little bigger but it actually looks better it's got a new 3d design uh, it's, it's a little, the, the features are a little darker up front on the F-Sport model, the vents are a little bigger. I think it looks good. They, uh, they did modernize it a little bit, you're right about that. They took the, the DRL, the lighting signature, and they moved it into the headlamp. But it's, you remember like, you know, five, six years ago, when a car like this came out, everybody was doing like the DRLs below the lighting yeah. and it's starting to look really tacky. So they did move it into the light and it does look sleeker in that regard. The grill somehow has gotten bigger, but yeah. I think we're just so used to Lexus's grill at this point that we're not even that thrown off by it. Um, yeah. If you look at it in the side profile, you just said this a couple hours ago and I agree with you. You do see a little bit of Lexus ES. It's starting mm -hmm. to take on some of the lines of its sibling, uh, but I do like that they retain the sort of strong character line that's on the current IS that goes along the bottom of the car and then sweeps upward uh, with yeah. the rear door. Uh, F-Sport, you already mentioned, does get some blacked out features on the front fascia, and then this car will have 19 inch wheels, which is a first for the IS on the F-Sport, um, and the standard car will come with 18 inch. But there's just not too much that's very different from the car that's currently on sale, at least not enough for me from the front third quarter. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people have the same opinion, uh, especially since Lex has made a big deal about this and saying all new, brand new IS, and it's really not totally new. Um, yeah, but the redesign, I think, is just enough to to get the same IS buyers from the previous gen to, sure. to move into this one pretty seamlessly. Um, mm -hmm. We have reporting, I know, on a potential V8 model, but apparently it wouldn't be called an ISF. That's what they say. I, I don't know how that can even be true. Yeah. Why you would shove a big V8 under there and not give it an F nameplate. Um, but it could be called IS500, which would be dumb. Uh, but either way, I mean, the, fi the five liter is great. I would love to see it in the IS again. I'm glad we're talking about powertrains. It's a perfect intro into this section. Here's where I'm going to get a little disappointed. I have to be honest with you. Uh, we're reading through and seeing what Lexus has done. Just like the 2020 model, things are going to look really similar here. We have IS300, which is the rear wheel drive sedan. And that's going to use a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. It's good for 241 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Then there's an IS300 that's all wheel drive. That's going to switch to 3.5 liter V6. It's up on power, 260, uh, but it's down on torque to 236. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you have the fast one, which is the IS350, and that comes in both all wheel drive and rear wheel drive. It's going to use the exact same three and a half liter V6. Good for 311 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. Here's where you get me. If you look at the materials on the current car that's on sale, they are identical across the yeah. board. Not one horsepower was gained, not one pound foot of torque. Why? I don't know. That's weird to me. Uh, it's it's kind of dumb. I mean, you have this fresh design, you have a new interior, and then you just shove the old engines in there. 
Uh, that doesn't really make much sense. And that turbocharged two liter is not my favorite, especially not in that segment. I would say in that segment, it's one of the worst. Um, so it's weird that they didn't do anything to it. But the, the V6 is still pretty good. The 311 horsepower model should be decent. Um, but I sort of expected a little bit more out of them with, with the powertrains. Interior. Although you're going to see the images right now and say, what the hell did they change? Uh, the answer is not too much, but there is a touch screen now. There's a touch screen. So the eight inch is standard and then you get a bigger 10.3 inch. And the one thing they did do that I appreciate because I had this concern a lot in the old IS and a lot of the current Lexuses is that they moved the screen three inches closer to the driver. So you can okay. actually use the touch screen now instead of being forced to use that terrible trackpad, which also carries over for some reason. The trackpad is not dead. It is right there and it is alive and well. I don't know, I was reading on this car all day. I didn't see any mention of them tweaking the software, of them redoing the entire touch interface. They're basically saying, we knew this infotainment was pretty crappy. Now you can touch it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They, they didn't really do anything. I was kind of surprised by that too. Um, the displays with Lexus products are typically not the worst, but interacting with them is a nightmare. Um, yeah. CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa integration in this. That's not new. That's still continued stuff that we've seen. There is a new 17-speaker audio system, which is up from 15 speakers. I'm reaching to find exciting things at this point. Um, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they've done some updates to their uh, safety suite. So the car is going to do adaptive cruise control all the way down to zero miles per hour. Uh, and they've made some changes to... Uh, have better pedestrian detection, so it will kill less people on the road. That's good. The interior also looks a little redder, like they made it more red than the last one. That's all I can really say about it, I guess. It there's looks pretty some, much the same. Yeah, there's some like new uh, design cues going on with the door panels, it looked like. Um, but all in all, it seems like they took what they already had, gave it a new face, understood the fact that they don't really sell all that many of these cars and this mm -hmm. is kind of what we're left with i know we're kind of underselling this but i think you and i looked at this car and said we kind of wanted a little more yeah we did and it's a shame because i like the is the is has always been a good car it's yeah. never been you know like the best in the segment it's never been you know the, the three series beater that everybody wants it to be but it's solid i mean it's it just needs a little more and i thought they would give it a little more this time around and they didn't yeah, to be determined on how those changes suit it. And, you know, once we actually get to drive the car, what changes have been made? Um, in the press release, Lexus made a big deal about how they tuned this car in Japan. And this is the first car to debut a whole new series of tests that they're doing with each car that goes to market and how they're tuning it and, and engineering the cars. So potentially that'll have a positive effect on how it drives. But in terms of uh, equipment, there's not enough change here to know that just yet. Well, let us know if you're just as underwhelmed as we are, uh, at least with everything in this car, perhaps apart from how it looks. Um, any other final thoughts for we wrap up here? No, I'm, I'm excited to drive it. Uh, I'd be curious to see if these updates really make any difference to the way it drives. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for joining us for our first look at the 2021 Lexus IS.